Hey guys, Shane with OBQs. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to customize your settings in your DigiQ Blue. So, a quick way to getting to the uh, configuration screen is just click on whatever setting you're on. In this case, we're on Advanced. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the word Advanced. Now it brings us to the configuration screen. I can take any one of the variables that we measure in the DigiQ app and I can change them. When I change one or more of them, and that configuration, in essence, becomes a new configuration. We're going to save it, and it becomes a custom mode. So here's one of my favorite ones. We can actually click on up here on the presets. You can see it says All Off, Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and click on All Off. In essence, what I've now done is turned every single measurement off. So the DigiQ is actually not recording anything, or at least when I hit Save Configuration, it won't. Well, we don't want to do that. I actually want to do record something. I want to record something. So let's choose um, let's choose finish. Finish is, is, is after you shoot a shot, how long you stay still. How long the cue stays still, you stay down on the shot, and hopefully you're not going to jump. It'll train you to not jump up on the shot. So we're going to go ahead and choose two and a half seconds, which is a very long time, but that's what we're going to do for this demonstration. I'm going to hit save configuration. Push the power button two times to sync. So I'm going to go one, two. You don't have to push it real quick. You can push it just one push and then another push. And there we go. All done. Success. We're going to hit exit. We're going to hit exit on the app. And now it's asking us to go ahead and shoot a shot. So again, I'm going to simulate a shot. I'm actually not in a pool room right now. So literally what I'm doing is I'm taking the DigiQ uh, housing and I'm kind of hitting it against my hand to try and simulate uh, the pool cue hitting a ball. Doesn't always work, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I think it'll work pretty well. Now, it's going to be very difficult for me to remain still uh, and actually beat the finish setting, but let's see what happens anyway. So, And there you go. Um, there's only one setting that has been displayed because we are in a custom configuration, and you can actually see under mode, it now has the word custom. So it says finish 0.71 seconds. So in essence, what it's saying is uh, I stayed still for three quarters of a second after impact, but the predetermined setting that I set was two and a half seconds. So in order to get a green check mark on finish, I need to stay still for two and a half seconds after um, I hit a ball. If you're unsure as to what any of these settings are, it's really simple. You can just click on the word finish and it pulls up exactly what finish is, why it's important, and what you need to do uh, in order to uh, improve your game with respect to finish. So that's it. That's how you do custom configurations in the DigiQ app.